Hello everyone! In this video I will showcase you the new update for Macaws Windows. In this update we have many new changes, improvements, new stuff and of course bug fixes. If you want to get notified when I post a new video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on. So, let's start with this massive update. The biggest change in this update is the new placing system, which is really simple to use. You just have to place down a window and keep placing another window on top of it. And the model will connect to form a tall window. The same works for gothic windows, arrow slits and blinds. Just be aware of where you aim with your mouse. If you aim on the left side of the block and place the window, then it will open to the left and the same goes with the right side. If you place one on the left side and another one on the right side, it will make your tall window look like this. Which can be weird, but I guess it will be useful for someone at least. By the way, I received a lot of complaints from you about how hard it is to close an opened window because of the hitbox. So I've changed the hitbox for them. But don't worry, you still can shoot projectiles through them while they are opened. The hammer is no longer needed to toggle the iron bars on the gothic windows. Instead, just shift and click with an empty hand to toggle it. It is way easier this way, am I right? If some of you wanted to have a tall window and a basic one by one window placed on top of it, well, I've got you covered too. The hammer now has a new function. If you right click with the hammer on a window, it will change to its basic one by one window state. This way you can still make windows like you could with the old double tall ones and the basic one block window. Another very great improvement is that from now on everything connected to each other will open. Meaning that if you have something placed next to each other and it is the same block it will toggle on right click. This is a lot easier than right clicking every block to toggle it. Let's move to the new addition in this update, the mosaic glass and mosaic glass panes. We made each color a different texture. In the future each pattern could get every color, but that depends on you. These glass blocks and paints can interact with a beacon, meaning it will change the laser from the beacon to its color. They can be mined with the silk touch enchantment, without it they will just break, just like regular glass blocks and paints. I wanted a simple recipe for them. So you just have to put a dye color in the middle and put the same colored stained glass around it. For the mosaic glass panes you just have to put 6 of the mosaic blocks like this and that's it. I feel like this mod is missing something. Hmm, what could it be? Sounds of course. I just had to implement them in this update. The new sounds are for Windows, Gothic Windows and Window Blinds. The texture for the two window items has been improved, so you can better recognize them. Finally, let's move to fixed issues in this update. Windows used to glitch from distance while using Optifine, this has been fixed. There was a door opening bug with the windows, this has been also fixed. There were some bad descriptions for windows. And tall blocks dropped as items when you broke them in creative mode, this has been also 
fixed since they have been removed. So that's it, everything for this massive update for macOS Windows. It has been ported to 1.17.1 as well. If you have any suggestion or find some bugs with this version, let me know on our Discord server. The link is in the description down below or just write down a comment here. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thank you all for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!